I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota with this week's two-minute fishing report. Well, first off, I want to apologize for not being able to give you the fishing report last week, and uh, I do appreciate everyone's uh, thoughts and uh, well wishes. Uh, hopefully, I'm back on the mend, and uh, we'll continue on with the fishing report for many years to come. Well, speaking of the fishing report, the weather's starting to cooperate a little, and uh, maybe the walleyes will start to cooperate a little bit more, but it's been fairly tough around the area. Some of the lakes that have been producing fish up in the northeast uh, this past weekend, really Wabe and Bitter did quite well. Uh, not everyone caught fish, and how they caught them really varied. At Wabe, they were using a lot of live bait, jigs and minnows. Uh, at the, uh, Bitter, they were using uh, a lot of uh, casting plugs as well as uh, throwing plastics, and then also some jigs and minnows uh, at the same time. Other lakes that did fairly well, uh, the tournament and en enemy swim. Uh, a lot of nice fish, not a lot of fish, but what the fish that they did catch were fairly nice. Uh, also, some other lakes included Reeds and Indian Springs in the northeastern part of the state. Uh, some of the lakes down in the southeastern part of the state of South Dakota uh, that produced some nice fish uh, of late uh, included uh, Ponset, uh, Dry has been doing fairly well, uh, Island, Beaver. We haven't mentioned Beaver in quite a while, and the guys out in the boats have been doing fairly well, and even along shore. Also, Twin, and then Thompson and Henry. And Thompson, it's been really a struggle lately, uh, but hopefully with the quieter, calmer weather, that will really start to turn on. And then as far as the Missouri River is concerned, guys are doing really quite well up and down the Missouri River, especially at Chamberlain. And what have they been using? Mainly jigs, uh, as well as uh, uh, tipping them with middles, and then also pulling plugs. And then as far as the crappie or the perch bite, really not much to speak of. A few crappie being caught uh, at Reeds as well as uh, Thompson, but uh, the perch bite has been, been pretty few and far between, to say the least. Well, now it's time to take a look at a few photos from this past week. And remember, folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to uh, Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be included in a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. So please remember, send me your photos. And one last thing I'd like to remind you, of, uh, uh, folks, is that if you're planning on any type of big trip to the river, to Canada, anywhere, and if you need crawlers in bulk, remember, we sell them by the flat or half flat, and we put them in paper or in bedding at absolutely no additional cost to you. So make sure you give us a call to reserve your half flat, also your, your uh, full flat. We also sell uh, leeches by the bulk, too. Uh, half pound or full pound, whatever you need, give us a call at 605-336-9132. So reserve yours today. Well, folks, that's this week's two-minute fishing report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on. We'll see you next time. Take care.